Hello, this is Judith St. Clair with another one of my very short videos. Today's video features the horned grebe. After spending spring and summer inland in Alaska, Canada, and the extreme northern portions of the lower 48, this bird winters in coastal areas around the U.S. The horned grebe is not a very large bird. It is 14 inches in length, has a wingspan of 18 inches, and weighs just one pound. Coloring of the horned grebe is a beautiful mixture of white and shades of iridescent gray. It spends its time diving for fish and tending to its feathers, which must be kept in top condition to protect the bird from the elements. While a bad hair day for a person is just a brief bother, a bad feather day for a bird could become life-threatening. That's basically why every bird we observe is continually tending its feathers. Now look at what some of these grebes do. They lay their heads back onto their backs and float around on the surface of the water. At least I thought they were simply resting and floating until I took a closer look. Do you see it? They are actually paddling in that position. And it looks to me like they're having so much fun doing it. It's sort of like a bunch of kids in feathery bumper cars. But why do they do it? What purpose could such activity have? Well, I do have a theory, which is, from the air, you know, a predator's view, a horned grebe in that position would look like a floating piece of driftwood instead of a beautiful bird with a white accented swan-like neck. What do you think? So until we hear from a brilliant scientist or find the tablets on which the rules of nature are written, we will hold to our theories and observe nature as it happens. That's it for now. I'll see you next time. We'll watch for a bit and then I'll sign off. By the way, I had a hard time photographing this. They just wouldn't stay still. funny. <laughs> That's it for now. Have a good day and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.